Hello guys, my name is Diana Fianti. I'm a student at the Mission University and today I'm going to answer my first personal test. It is about speaking section. So in this video, I'm going to explain you guys my first virtual conference uh, on my first week learning English for professional and business. On my first week of learning English, I attend my first virtual conference with my classmates and our first topic is about introduction. So there are two types of introduction, it is informal and formal introduction, which is both of them is actually almost the same, but uh, in formal introduction, there's steps that we have to show. like. We have to restart uh, our points and also focusing on body, body language to make the, the partner it's interesting to our speaking. And also, in, in for informal introduction, we have to um, focusing on the point, focusing on the step like introduction like that. And that's all I learned about uh, in introduce yourself informal and formally. One is about making a statement. So uh, making a statement it's actually uh, something that we always doing. I mean, like even in our native language, we all we always make a statement. But how we make a statement in English is that we need to use a logic and best, best reason and, and actually having the data to prove our statement is pretty good. And also, uh, after learning about statement, we also learning about restat. Restat is actually making a statement but with different words. Uh, but all, but still has the same meaning. So um, it's like stating your points, but with different words. Um, here are things that I noticed to make a good restart is that I have to focus on the point that I'm trying to make. I'm trying to restart. What is the point that I'm trying to restart? And then um, I need to learn about the synonym of the words. And this is actually challenging to me because my vocabulary is not good. And also, I have to uh, research for the reason why I make this, why I'm making this poem. Like, if you're going to list that something, make sure that you have your point and you have to write uh, words to say it. Because if it's not, if it's not uh, good, then actually it will make different meaning like that that is for this that the last one is making an opinion so this is actually the things that we always do in real life even in our native language but making an opinion in english is pretty pretty tricky for me because yeah, my vocab is not good, and I just found out that if we if we make an opinion, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of words that we can use, like like I recall, or as far as I know, or what else again? Yeah, such such things like that, and also making an opinion is the same like making a statement. We have to make a point of all words like we have to make the partner understand about our opinion and also having the data to support our opinion is better and that so 